So your word is strong. Yeah. Strong. <laughs> Two together and hold. Ah, oh, much better. Mouth, relax your jaw and breathe. Okay, first one going on here. Just feeling around the neck of the big toe. A nice sacral fixation. That's it. Lovely. Letting the pelvis go. Stimulating straight away. The lovely vortex. Allowing that space. Now, because of headaches and stress levels, I'm just going to do a little frontal bone and occiput release Hi. Hi comes in. You all right? I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. The usual stress. Okay. Plus house move. Aha. Uh -huh. I saw you sold. Yeah. And anyway, how's mum? How are you? Uh, all right. But it's been a stressful time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's just the number of jobs yeah. to do to get okay. to a point where we are ready to move is like... You know what they say, if you've got something you've got to get done, give it to a busy person. Yeah. And you are a busy person and you're getting loads done. So, yeah. you know, pat on the back, you're doing it. Yeah. I know you're frazzled, but that's why you come here. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> because I was at the weekend, I was like, I'm sure I've got an appointment soon. I must have an appointment soon. And then you messaged me and I was like, yes! Oh. <laughs> I knew it was soon. My back is really achy because I've been... Where? Uh, yeah. Okay. Because I've been... Headaches. Okay, so I need to check your L5, L6. And I hit something too bad. Oh, good. That hip's alright. It seems to be. Going. Um, but yeah, it's not been too bad, actually. Okay, because um, we worked on that last yeah. time. <laughs> yes to all. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, my headaches have been quite bad. You are a superwoman. <laughs> You're... Oh, talking of which, right. Pick a card. They're just all feel-good cards, and we're going to read it, okay. and then turn it up and put it on the windowsill. And okay. that will resonate your feeling for this week. They're okay. all positive. They're cool. all good. That one. I support myself and others with initiative and commitment to spirit. So your word is strong. Yeah. Strong. <laughs> so having said everything you've just said, doesn't that resonate? That yeah. that I just fits. <laughs> you, Kamzin, are strong. So there's your word. Wonderful. So would you like to lie down? Lie down. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to do some tests. Can you raise an arm and hold? Oh, it's a bit shaky. And hold, a bit shaky. Raise a leg and hold. That's okay. And hold. Would you like the heated couch on? It's not on at the moment. Yeah. Can you do two together? And hold. Okay, and hold. No, okay, so there's something going on. Let's just have a look. She says pulling your hair and hold. Oh, I don't think it's dehydration. You still, so upturn your finger, touch the roof of your mouth. Two together and hold. Ah, oh, much better. Wow, do, do you feel the difference then? Yeah. So I'm just grabbing a glove. We've done this before, haven't we? Yeah. So open your mouth, relax your jaw and breathe. So just for the benefit of the camera, I'm just having a little feel into the top or the roof of the mouth, just at the top of the dome. Into Qigong energy, feeling what's above. 
So there is a little joint there called the SBS, the sphenobacilla synchondrosis, which is a keystone to all the cranial bones in the head, and there are many. And when the SBS is twisted or shifted just out of alignment, then it can affect all the other cranial bones as well, which then leads to all manner of difficulties, issues, symptoms, for instance, headaches, sleep disruption, foggy head, but indeed all sorts of other symptoms in the body as well, like hormonal disorder, and especially the reproductive system, because just above where I am is the pituitary gland, and the pituitary governs the release of all of the hormones of the body, including adrenaline and thyroxine and estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, etc. And so getting the SBS to sit correctly then helps the pituitary to be milked when we walk. It means it's being massaged. It's a nice feeling. And that means that everything is well in the world. And our eyes are level. We're looking at the horizon. Our head is level. And everything else comes good. So while I've been talking, I can just feel into this SBS. And it's feeling much better much calmer because the SBS has a emotional quality to it as well much better okay so let's have a retest see if it's performing now and hold much better and other side and hold Oh, really strong that side. And I'm being picky now, but I'm just going to have a little feel behind your hip on your right side. Same again and hold. Much better. OK, so I will look at that hip. I think it is saying hello. Uh, so I'm just going to have a look at the hips in detail, just checking. They look level. Mm -hmm. Clavicle slightly higher, left side level. Okay, any shoulder ache? Uh, a bit. Mm, which one? Or just, mm. doesn't matter. Yeah, that is, it's just a bit higher that side. I think you're bringing it up. Yeah, the top of the shoulder is as well. As oh, and this shoulder point is rolling forward slightly. Okay, I mean, I am talking, I'm being picky. Um, okay, how's tummy been, digestion? Yeah, all working well, behaving. Um, what else do I need to look at? Hmm. I think we can turn you over. Okay. okay, so can you bend a knee, raise the knee off the couch and hold, lovely, same the other side and hold, fantastic, they're good, just going to have a feel of your neck regardless, just feel that C2, mm, it does feel a bit tight there. So just feeling into the back to start off with, not putting too much pressure on, just having a little sense as to whether the lower middle or upper back is calling out, meaning 
tight, hot, cold, pronounced, sunken. It can present in lots of different ways. So at the moment I'm feeling some tightness at the top. Yeah, Kamsin did say that there's some tightness, didn't you, between your shoulder blades. Yeah, I can feel that there, really tight. Um, actually, this is as well, so just coming down just below the bra strap, above kidney area. And then the lower back doesn't feel too bad to me. So this is the left side, of course, because it was the right that was a bit sore last time. Yeah, that's good. Just feeling this side. This side doesn't feel as bad as the left, actually. Yeah. Can you feel the difference there comes in? Yeah. It's quite tight here, this muscle, lat dorsi. Um, so, you've got a choice. I can cup you, or I can put the thumper massager on you with some other core techniques what what would you prefer because I know you have preferences um, less cupping, less brain, yeah I think cupping's always guaranteed to make you feel better afterwards yeah okay let's do it so I'll just warm the back up to start off with and have a really good feel get it moving get some flow There we are, it's coming back. So did you have a wonderful time in Centre Parks? It was amazing. Oh, The kids had a great time, it was so tired. And did you do your swimming and what's it called, the Lazy River? And yeah, and Eli went down the rapids. Did he? Yeah, Mike took him down. He went down like seven times in a row. Oh, <laughs> ridiculous. Awesome. They loved the swimming. Um, yeah, it's, it's not a relaxing holiday. No. So. But and yeah. just two families, India and you? Is that yeah. That? Yeah. So the kids had a great time together. Did you do some other activities as well? Uh, we took their bikes. Oh. So we were bike rides. So we'd like swim in the morning and then bike ride to somewhere in the park. Um, in the afternoon so like we'd cycle them down to the beach or um, they've got giant redwoods yeah. there so we'd like cycle them across and then go and like play at the park or whatever and then cycle them home so yeah they were absolutely shattered by the end of the week yeah um, and then we did a day at Longleat as well because that's literally like like less than half a mile up the road yeah so um we were really lucky with the animals as well, actually, because normally you don't see many of the big cats, but we saw like something in every enclosure. Oh. So, um, yeah. And the monkeys, the kids thought the monkeys were hilarious because they pulled my brake light off. No. Yeah, and they thought it was absolutely hilarious. So. <laughs> they would. <laughs> so have you had it repaired? Uh, not yet. Oh, no. I need to get it sorted. Oh. Just another thing to add to the list, isn't oh, it? Oh, gosh. Yeah, they thought it was hilarious. And we've got, um, like, a panoramic roof. And yeah. the yeah. monkeys were sitting on the roof. Yeah. So they could watch them sitting on the roof. Yes. I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So 
So was Ezra in one of those tag-along little buggy things at the back of the bike? Well, we didn't have bikes, so he was in the pushchair and we were running alongside the kids biking. Oh my goodness. So You must have been shattered. Well, we had all these grand plans of like, oh yeah, on one night, me and Michael go out. And then on the next night, India and Matt can go out. And then maybe one night, India and I will go out. And I think India and Matt went to the um, swimming thing once in the evening. And that was it. Every other night, it was You're like... just too tired. Yeah, it was like nine o'clock. We were all in bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so relatable. Yeah. <sighs> But yeah, we were trying to work out because in a couple of years, we were like, oh, we should do it in a couple of years' time. But Ezra won't count as an infant then, so you have to get a six-bedroom launch. Oh. So obviously it gets more and more expensive, so we're really trying to see if we could find sort of a Centre Park-esque holiday. Right. That would sort of do the same things, but it doesn't seem like anybody else has the same... No. The swimming paradise is the thing going Yeah, through, really. true. Okay, so I'm just going to do some of these techniques before we do some cupping. I'm going to do a wing stretch to open up that scapula. There you go. Lovely. So nice that it's light still. Mm. Five past eight at night, it's still light. Yeah, I took the kids to the park after dinner tonight because it was so sunny. Wow. Okay, let go. That's it. Lovely. walking down the back to shift each vertebra so it rocks downwards left to right that helps free each one up from the vertebra next to it and frees up the erector spinae muscle group let alone the trapezius and the lat dorsi and then rocking sacrum. Okay, so if you could take your top off for mm -hmm. me. some warmed sunflower oil on so people might ask about your tattoo do you has it got a name comes in um it's just called a mandala i think yeah it's nothing doesn't really mean anything. Or... Oh, okay. I thought it might have some significance, like your name or something no, like that. No, no, just a pretty pattern. <laughs> yeah, it's a very pretty one.
first one going on here. How's this feeling? Is it sore? Yeah, a little bit. It's not too bad, though. Not too much. Do no. tell me if it's too much. I can always soften it a bit. Okay. So the good thing is it's just starting to go a little rosy. It was already a little bit rosy up here from the tween aisle that we'd been doing. And um, where it's rosy is a really good sign. Shows that the blood is getting through. That's what I'm after. Because otherwise it's fairly pale and therefore congested. What we call stagna stagnation. You okay? Mm hmm Good, looking really good. So some nice rosy cut marks at the moment. They're just rosy, they won't last too long. And just getting that energy down there, the lower back. Then I'm going to put a few where it was tight in the lumbar. Nice, okay, so we've got four on the lower thoracics, two across the lumbar and three across the sacrum. 
and they all look a really good colour so they're definitely doing their job bringing that blood flow so that it flows without hindrance or impingement How are they feeling? Yeah, they're fine. Oh, good. invested in some fluffy socks for moments <laughs> like this. Just feeling around the neck of the big toe into the side of the scapula down the thyroid and oh, clearing down from the kidneys and then feeling into that left hip and moving the upper foot see if I can separate it, is that cramping a bit? no no? okay seeing if I can separate the upper foot and then the whole, oh, that's it, that's it hmm. so just let your foot go, that's it And then round the lower back. And leg repatterning to work on that hip. And down. Holding into the acupressure points and then repatterning. And a nice sacral fixation. That's it. Lovely. Letting the pelvis go. Ooh, nice. And then a nice sacral float. 
such a key part of any core treatment. I'd say it's probably the second most important part after a neck release. Just feeling into the energy, the chakra movement, the colour, the warmth, the heat stimulating straight away the lovely vortex And then connecting cranium to sacrum, top and bottom of the spine. So I keep going until I feel the release and that feels good. Lovely. was a tight one. We've got some nice colours, some nice <laughs> pepperoni pizza. This is the strongest, um, but they're they're not too bad. That one did feel um, stronger when you put it on. Yeah, but they weren't particularly painful or anything. Good. And I think it will have really helped you. Um, before you turn over, I'm just going to have a little feel of the back. Mm -hmm.
Oh gosh, it's such a lot better. Can you feel mm -hmm. the difference here? Yeah. Yeah. You're moving much more fluidly. The back doesn't feel so tight or in spasm. Yeah, you've got a nice flow. Lovely. Okay. Do you want a hot towel on you? Yes. <laughs> How are the socks? They're so cosy. Where did they come from? Just Amazon. <laughs> I'll show you the pack and then you'll know what to look for. Yeah. In fact, I can always send you the link. I'll be able to get that if you want. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, they are really warm. Let me show you. They come in a little bag like this. There's five. What does that say? Can you read that? Yimmy you, maybe. Yimmy yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You, you won't forget that, will you? Separating each toe, give it a good shift. Make sure there's no tightness or blockage. And warm. Separating each toe, give it a good shift. Make sure there's no tightness or blockage. And warm. Okay, look at the hips. See what they're telling me. They looked okay earlier. So, uh, shoulders needed a bit of TLC, so I'll just do a little arm repatterning. So this works using the arm as a lever to work on the shoulder and the neck. And coming round, give the shoulder an extra little massage. Mm, there's some tightness there, I'll get to that. And then looseness. Yeah, nice. Okay, let it go. I've got you. That's it. Lovely.
Lovely, well done. Nice and relaxed. Letting the head just sink down to the couch. Allowing that space between the top vertebra and the lower bone of the cranium, the occiput. Allowing it to draw out. Let go. Go, go, go. Nice. And then just turn the head. It's feeling into the side of the cervical bones. Encouraging a little shift, a little bounce. Making sure they're not attached to the one above or below too greatly, they're not fixated, and that the spinal processes, those arms each side of each vertebra are moving, are able to move, enabling us to turn our heads, greater mobility, lovely, they're good, okay. Encouraging a little movement, softness, and the other side, down. Okay, and then check again. And another neck release at the same place. Checking for a good rotation. That ability to tilt back, creating space. Helps clear the head, clear any brain fog, and a stretch. Lovely. Working into the shoulder, nice, good bounce. They're nice and rosy, they've been worked on with the between our the cupping, good neck release, nice bounce, and then allowing for a good stretch. So nice and heavy, 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 heavy. Stretch up and around and pull. Good. Same again, nice and heavy. Stretch up, around, and pull. One good way to help us see into our blind spot. Oh yeah, feels a lot better, really manipulating the neck bones left and right, and then coming with me. That's good. Feel much better. And a good stretch vertically. And then some Qigong into the temporal occiput and down the spine.
and the Qigong enables the most amazing and overwhelming feeling of good health. Just that feeling that everything is aligned, everything's in the right place, it's all been worked on, the whole body has had some attention. It's just a good place to be. Now, because of headaches and stress levels, I'm just going to do a little frontal bone and occiput release, allowing the head to go where it needs to go, often to one side, shifting the energy, creating movement and freedom. Of course, this is working on the Ajna Chakra, the third eye. And deep in the head, another key energy place called the Jyoti Kendra. Which we tune into when we're meditating. Or in a somatic state. Very deep. And when we use that battery, that little energy pack that is found when we're in a somatic, deep or meditative state, it then helps us feel better for the next few days or weeks and the more often we can tap into that little energy pack then those overwhelming feelings of feeling well marry up and we feel well and capable and strong all the time even in times of crisis and busyness. Tuning into that somatic state just helps us cope. Helps us feel at our best. Bringing the breathing in a line. long breaths the head sometimes wants to turn the other way Okay, keeping your eyes closed, take a nice long breath and send your breath to your fingers and toes, stretching them out, 
moving through fingers and toes, wrists and ankles and shoulders. Carry on with the deep breathing. And then a nice long body stretch. Okay, yeah. So I'm just going to retest one area, which is your right arm and your right leg at the same time and hold much better. You're holding it. That's good. So, you feeling okay? Yeah, they're relaxed. Oh, and you're feeling better than when you came yeah. in? Good. Lovely. So, you might want to get up nice and slowly because we went quite deep then. Plus the cupping and everything, it's quite a deep treatment, isn't it? <laughs> Well, thank you for coming. Thank you for performing the treatment. <laughs>